amazing. Yes, I'm Dr. Leslie Trotter. I'm one of the directors of the St. Day Old Church Community Interest Company. And we were lucky enough to be able to buy the church from the diocese. Leslie Trotter, I'm, I'm right thinking. Yes. So, what's your role in uh, the community interest company and the purpose and uses of this church, I guess, in a nutshell? Okay. Um, yes, I'm Dr. Leslie Trotter. I'm one of the directors of the St. Day Old Church Community Interest Company. And we were lucky enough to be able to buy the church from the diocese in 2018. And we now run the place as a Centre for Heritage, the Arts and the Community here in St. Day. So we put on plays, musical events, we hope to have school parties coming in, and as much as possible we want to open up the place for the community to come in and use or just to wander around. We get lots of visitors from abroad, people interested in yeah. their family history, that sort of thing as well. Yeah. Excellent. Well, that's a really good description of this place, but perhaps what, what you haven't said is just how atmospheric it is and that sort of blissful sense of a room but that's somehow been repurposed into something functional and that serves the community so yes really glad that you've, you've done that because I remember coming here some years ago when it was just empty and abandoned and thinking they really must do something with this so I'm, I'm really glad you have so yes all power to your elbow and uh, yes yeah I mean what really strikes me because it doesn't have a roof <laughs> Um, it was abandoned effectively in the 1950s mm -hmm. because it was too big, too yeah. difficult to heat. Um, yeah. There was concerns about structural problems or probably somewhat exaggerated. Um, and the uh, local congregation basically decamped to a new church across the road and they shut the door on this place. Uh, a few years later, a bit of the roof collapsed and then the rest was demolished. Um, for, for safety reasons, safety reasons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Brilliant. And since then, various groups have, have tried to, to make a go of it. And hopefully, we've got the formula right this time. This time, yeah, you got it right. So thank you for that, Dr Trotter. And uh, hoping that we'll be able to get a couple of good images here at least. Um, so, uh, let's get on with it. First shot set up, which will be of this magnificent wooden cross that's in the uh, uh, end of the church there. So I'll sort of spring around to where the camera is, which is under an awning. Uh, you can see the amount of wind we're facing, so hopefully it's not affecting this microphone too much. If it is, I'll switch to a, a Lavalier microphone. So camera is set up with a vertical composition with a degree of front shift in order to counteract the um, potential of um, ver receding verticals when composing the image. So uh, that's now set up. I've got a meter reading which suggests um, half a second at f16. Uh, so I'm going to get on with the uh, rest. Now I'm just thinking I might like to try a yellow filter for a bit more contrast, in which case I'll have to go back to the car and fetch that with maybe one or two other little bits and pieces. Okay. So the composition is all set up. This wooden cross with the remains of the stained glass windows above. Um, the camera is set up with a yellow filter to try and maximise the contrast. Now um, I've also added front shift to try and bring the top of the image level so that I don't have to have receding verticals and a tiny bit of tilt to try and bear in mind that the cross is slightly leaning towards I'm going to be um, between f11 and f16 half a second, uh, and then I'll probably do one second between f11 and f16. Now, test behind the shutter, make sure all is well. Seems to be okay. 
so we're ready for the film office. Dark part of the background. That's ready. Just going to do another cock the shutter. Let's do another test firing. We need to because it's gone a bit dark. Even this still looks the same. So now we take the dark side out. We cock the shutter. We make the exposure. And we turn the dark side. But this time the back black side is facing out. That means that it's been exposed. So now Turn around the dark side, and we're going to do the other side. But I'm going to change the exposure to one second to be at 11. Okay, so again, cock the shutter, test fire. Yep. Shutter, make the exposure, turn on the dark side. Okay, all done. Now for the next composition. Angles, uh, come back to this composition. Okay. Slide okay. And first exposure, half a second at 16. Done. Dark slide back in. Right. So second exposure. Test. Firing. So okay. So, um, now managed to take four exposures using the Intrepid 4x5 loaded with Ilford Ortho film at St. Day Old Church. Uh, now having a quick break, coffee, and uh, in a new flip top flask, which uh, I must say is working pretty well. Coffee is always required on these trips because, like today, is cold. Uh, well, it's been very warm, but today it's only 12 degrees. So you're standing there operating a tripod camera and your fingers start to get cold after a while. But the sun is blazing down. It's a beautiful autumn afternoon. Um, so uh, Dr. Trotter was very kind, letting me uh, have the space while she cleared up after last night's uh, performance. Uh, as I say, it is uh, an active venue for community and arts events, so keep your eye on their website. I'll put a link to it either up here or in the uh, description below, so you can go onto the website and possibly their Facebook page as well. Um, St. Days is a lovely little place that's uh, kind of not really on the tourist map, but um, it's well worth a visit because there's various interesting locations nearby, like places like Gwinnett Pit and where John Wesley... <laughs> Uh, preached because it's a big non-conformist area or well, this this is actually or was a C of E church uh, back in the day so two compositions four exposures for P 
peace of mind and security uh yellow filter on at all times we'll see what that boosts the contrast and what kind of results we get out of that so when i get warmed up i'm going to break out the bronica and i'm going to finish off the roll of ortho that i have on one of the backs possibly taking gravestones because Leslie indicated she's writing a book talking about the graveyard so it might be helpful to have some pictures she could possibly draw upon um well, we'll see how how we get uh and there's also um potential uh, outside of the church so it's a in comparison to my last visit it's a beautiful sunny day blue sky the odd fluffy white cloud here and there so um yeah completely different conditions um all right so i'm going get back into the uh churchyard and see what we can come up with the bronica so See you later.